Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma LaFave, and today I'm gonna to show you how to illustrate your own family portrait for a holiday card. So there's been times in the past that my family and I have gotten pictures taken, or I've taken pictures of us for a family photo for our Christmas card. Did not do that this year, so I thought I would draw my own of my future little family and our new bundle of joy arriving in April. So I showed you in my last video, if you missed it, we revealed the sex of our baby. It's gonna be at the end of this video too, so if you missed it, you can just watch. But for this video, I wanted to show you step-by-step -step on how to illustrate your own family for your own family portrait holiday card. So let's jump right in and start. Okay, so today we are going to be drawing really simple kind of cartoonish people that you can create into a really cute family portrait for a holiday card for your loved ones. So first I'm gonna be teaching you how to sketch it out with a pencil and an eraser, so you're gonna need that. I'm gonna be doing this in my Etcher Lab Cold Press Watercolor Sketchbook because I am going to be watercoloring on top after. One thing you will also need is some sort of pen. Uh, I really like these Pigma Micron pens. I have a size 01 here that I'm gonna be using and it's waterproof, which is important. So I, after my pencil sketch, I will be going over it with the ink so it has to be waterproof if you're gonna be watercoloring on top of it. So if you don't have a waterproof pen, you may wanna do the lines after the watercolor, if that makes sense. So this is what we're gonna need for now before we get into the watercolor stuff. I am gonna show you how to draw different types of people and features. Um, like I said, it's very, very simple. So it's not features on their face necessarily, but different hairstyles, skin tones, um, just to make it more personal to whoever you are drawing for your card. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. And I have done a illustration tutorial before, so I'm gonna be going back to some of those basics. If you'd like to watch those videos, I will link them below, but we're just gonna be doing it because it's new year. Um, now let's just start. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom you in. All right. And I'm gonna be doing this darker than I typically would so you can see. So we're gonna start off with just like a circle shape for a head, like so. And then we're going to be crossing down the middle and the sides. And this is gonna be like your guidelines for your features. And like I said, they're gonna be super, super simple features. We're not gonna be going crazy with this. It's just really easy and simple. I could just keep saying that over and over again. <laughs> okay, so our eyes are gonna be on this line so you're gonna do them right in the middle, and we're just gonna do circles, okay? You can make it more detailed if you liked, but we're not doing that today. The nose is going to be just about halfway down, and we're just gonna do a little boop, like so, and then the mouth is gonna be in between the nose and the chin, like so. Literally, that's it, okay? Then, sorry if it gets out of focus at times, then we are gonna do the ears, if your person is showing ears in the photo um, that you're drawing. And the ears are just gonna start from the eye line. Down to, it can go down to the nose if you want them bigger, it can go a little smaller, like so. That's it, that is our shape of our head. Um, and if you wanna make it, this looks more like a kid, because it's a bit more rounded. If you wanna do more of an adult, maybe I should zoom out, and then I'll zoom in later, okay. If you wanna do more of an adult head, we can make it a bit more of an oval shape, okay? So this is how we can distinguish the grown-ups from the little people, <laughs> the children, the children. Okay, so we're gonna go halfway down, and again, halfway, same thing. Eyes, right here, nose, halfway, mouth, halfway in between the nose, and the chin, that's it, honestly. Ears, boop, boop. And then you can always add eyebrows too if you'd like to give a little bit of expression, okay? That's the basics for our head, okay? And I know it looks super simple and you're like, can we do something more advanced? No, we're not doing anything more advanced today. We're making it simple and it's gonna look super cute, I promise you. Okay, so from our heads we need a neck or maybe just like the torso of a body. If you, I'm not gonna go into the whole full body. Um, we're just gonna be doing kind of like the torso to the head for these cards. And then for the neck, all you're gonna do is just two little lines coming down and then just kind of scoop it 
like so. Adults can obviously be a bit bigger, but still on the smaller side, like that. Okay? And then for the bodies here, I want you to think, let's do like a rectangle shape. We're just going to do a rectangle shape. And we're going to make the kids a little smaller, adults a little bigger. They can actually go, the rectangles can go a little bit behind the shoulders. Okay, so it doesn't look like the neck is like balancing on top of the shoulders. That looks weird. Okay. And depending on if it's a female or a male, um, you can give it a bit more shape. If it's a male, you can make the shoulders like just come out a bit more like further. Um, if it's a female, you want to bring it in a bit more at the waist. Totally up to you. Just work on shapes. Honestly, this is all about shapes. Like so. Kids are a bit more square, and then the adults have a bit more shape to them. Okay, and then you're going to add on the arms. So from those shoulders, you're going to come out a bit further. And you're just going to bring them down by the sides. We're making this so easy. Okay, like so. And then this would be further. This guy's going to be behind, kind of. Am I making this a guy? We're making this a guy. Actually, let's make a female too, just to make it easy. So let's make this a female so it might be a little bit smaller depending on who you're drawing, right? They could be wider, they could be taller, thinner. It depends on who you're drawing. So just keep that in mind, but just work with shapes. Okay, we're just doing a triangle. So maybe even for the female, if you wanted to make more of that hourgla hourglass shape, you can kind of hit where you want the waist to be, come in, and then you could do like another shape coming out depending on who it is or whatever like that okay so we have our male here our female the shoulders are just coming out just a little bit over top and that is that okay we're just making the arms here okay and I'm gonna be doing like I said from here up so you won't need much more than this if it's a kid you might need maybe the pants depending on where they're sitting in the photo okay so there is our three head and body shape types I did not do the ears here but you know what we're gonna have her hair in front okay so now we're gonna talk about hair and there are so many different types of hair so I'm gonna try and cover as many as I can um, without making this too boring and long <laughs> so I'm gonna do a bunch of different heads down here. We're just going to start off with these three first and then I'm going to do a bunch of different heads after and I'll show you different types of hair. So let's start with a short little haircut. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this thinking me or sorry my my son, my husband and I. All right so we'll start with that and then we'll do different kinds. So for my son I would come up right above the ears like that and just kind of follow the headline and then just make it a little bit more Jagged at the top, like so. That's about it. Super simple. If you want to have like a couple of hairs coming down, you can definitely have a couple like that. My husband has a more long, kind of parted top. Erase the hairline just a bit, and I'm going to come up. And I'm going to come across and do like a little kind of flicky outie up here, if that makes sense. And then just follow on top. And he also has facial hair. Okay. And we'll do hairs on there later. Okay. And then me, depending on where my part is. So it could be middle part, which is cool nowadays. Or a side part. I'm going to do middle part. I'm going to do two little lines here. And then we're just going to have some waviness come down in the front. Like so. Depending on how long the hair is, you can make it long, short, whatever. Okay, have it a, like just a little bit. You don't want the top of the head to be too flat like we used to when we were kids. <laughs> and you don't want it to be too tall either where it looks kind of misshaped and crazy. Just like, what is that, a half a centimeter? Above the hairline, okay? We're just coming down like so. All right. Like 
like so. Okay, so there's three different hair types. Now I'm gonna go into different ones. Um, once you are done with your sketch, you're gonna go over top of it with your black ink, which I will do down here when I show you different skin tones. Um, and then you can erase all of those lines. But for now, I'm just gonna quickly draw a bunch of different faces and then we will get into different hair types. Okay, so here are different heads and now I'm just gonna do the hair with ink so you can see it a bit better. Okay, so on the top here, I'm gonna do male hairstyles and then on the bottom, I'll do some female ones. So typically with the males, if they have short hair, you're gonna see their ears. So I'm just gonna draw ear, ear, like so. For the first one, let's, he's, he's bald, guys. Let's make it easy. <laughs> I know many bald men in my family who don't have hair, or maybe they have a little bit around the sides. Ta-da! There you go. <laughs> super, super easy. All right, that's number one. Let's do number two. Let's do, maybe they have like short, short, barely their hair, okay? So we're just gonna outline the head. You can, if they have a specific hairline shape, you could always do that too, if it's more like, you know, maybe it goes right across. And we're just gonna do these little kind of strokes. And if it's super short, you're just gonna do the shape of their head. So it has to come up and around, right? Maybe it's like really curly, short, short hair. And you could just do these little tiny curls like that. And if it's not, you can just do little tiny strokes, straight strokes. But again, you don't want it to be too, too like above their head where it looks like they have this giant like egg head and you don't want it to be too flat. So like half a, half a centimeter. I don't even know how big a centimeter is. Half a centimeter. Yeah. About that. Okay. So there's her really, really short hair. Let's do the guy that maybe has a bit more, more hair on top, kind of like my husband, but maybe bigger. I don't know. We're going to do. Kind of like this, these strokes going up like that. They're gonna be maybe sideburns, so coming down in front of the ears. This like Elvis look. And then gonna come in, in. And then for the top, you're just gonna continue to do that kind of flicky <laughs> up motion. All going to one side, okay? There we go. I'm just giving these guys eyebrows. You don't have to do it like that. You can just do like a little line if you want. Okay, another hairstyle. Let's think. Maybe they have like their hair is a bit more down in front of their face, like almost like bangs. All right, so I'm gonna start off with like some sideburns here, and then it's just gonna come down swooping in front. So here's the top of the head, and we're just gonna have like this kind of down in front of their head. Again, raise it a bit above the top of where we drew that circle. Maybe even have like one or two little hairs sticking up. <laughs> Maybe a bit more texture at the top like that. And just do little strokes like that. Okay, and then lastly, what is this guy gonna look like? I should have looked up men's hair. Maybe, maybe we have a little bit longer hair. Okay. So which my husband just had and he cut it all off. <laughs> so, um, let's do like hockey hair. So I'm just going to have it come down in front of the face a bit and just kind of have it like flick out to the side. So behind the ears, and then just kind of like do these little like flicks out like that. Okay, long hair. There we go. Um, there are some men's hairstyles you could definitely use. And then let's do some female ones. So let's start with some short hair. I find like straight hair is the easiest. So let's get some, some bangs maybe. Okay, so we're gonna start again a little bit above. So here's where our, our circle ends for our head. You're gonna go a little bit above right but the bangs are going to start right at the top of this circle so let's do some like bangs coming down just like little strokes like that and then 
maybe we'll have just straight hair coming down like so and then you can make it whatever length you want okay let's do like shoulder length here and just from the bangs just make it longer there longer there and we don't need to do the ears because you probably don't see them ta-da there we go okay so there's some bangs and you can use that with anything um, a ponytail is one thing I was asked last time to do um, so a ponytail you would see the ears we're gonna start by doing the hairline right around where our circle is and we're just gonna start by kind of like doing these little flicked back lines okay and then we're gonna do another half circle kind of over top of their head now it really depends how their ponytail is if it's like a high pony you're gonna come up and like down that way but I know a lot of people have just like a little ponytail at the back and it will just come out the side like this maybe it's straight hair it could be wavy hair I don't know like that and you can make it as long as you like you could also do this kind of look for like a half up half up half down look and you could just have hair coming from both sides maybe closer to the ear okay let's get into some more textured hair some like wavy hair and then curly hair so let's do a side part this time so I'm gonna do my little two lines over here and I'm just really gonna just do some waves coming down in front of the face like this maybe there's like bangs here just have it coming down in front of the face again above that circle like half a centimeter And for these like waves, or they're not really curls, I just do like this S shape. And another kind of S shape. And I don't fill the whole head with S shapes, because we're that's what the color is gonna be for after. Like so. Alright, there's that. Now let's do some curly hair. Okay, so for tight little curls, um, you could always do it in a ponytail if you like. So you could do this kind of top and then you could have like the curls coming up around. I'm gonna do actually like small curls. So I'm just gonna do this kind of like, it's like a squiggle pattern, like, like that. And you're just, this takes a little bit longer, but, and it could be a little bit bigger. You could just do the outline if you want, depending on if it's like maybe really light, like blonde hair, if it's darker hair and you want to make it, I don't know, more like seem more full, you could just do squiggles all over. But I'm just going to do kind of like the outline and then some in, inside. Pick where you want your part too, and you could just do like little lines like that coming from the part. And if there's also any hair accessories, just like leave some space. Like if you wanted a headband, you could do a headband, right? A bow. Just do this with pencil first. I'm just doing it with pen just to show you. Curly hair. Um, and then lastly, let's do, let's do one up. Maybe we'll do, I'm gonna go around. Maybe this is curly and up. So I'm just gonna do like the little squiggles kind of going back like that for the thing. And then we could do like a nice kind of like a bun. And you could always add some more of those like squiggles in there too. You could have some coming out, whatever. There's so many more hair types we could do. I have covered this also in I think two other videos so I will link those below. Um, you also have people who may wear hats or headscarves too. And like I'll do, I think I did this in the last one too. Someone who might be wearing a hijab. Okay, and then for that, you gotta give them a face. Okay, 
okay? I would just go closer, like underneath, actually all the way around the head like this. And then just like again, a half an inch around. And then I have one side cross over and then come out over the shoulders like so. And then just do like beautiful like scarf kind of draping like so. Okay, there's so many ways you can do this. I wish I could cover them all, but I can't. <laughs> um, so that's kind of it. Um, now I'm just going to kind of go around the heads and everything and I'm going to erase all the pencil marks so we can get into skin tones and colors. Okay, now we're also going to do a quick review on skin tones. I have done this before, so I will also link those videos down below. Um, but basically, we don't always have like a peach color or the brown color that we want. So we're going to make it. Um, for a very, let's start with the lightest. I like to use yellow ochre. I'm just going to mix it all right here. And then a bit of permanent rose and just swatching it. Here's a color. Water it down. You can make it super, super light. Okay, depending on if they have a bit more peachy skin, um, you could add a bit more pink, a bit more yellow to it, a bit more yellow. Here we go. Like so. You could add just like some burnt umber to it. for just some brown. Okay, let's add a bit more pink. That's too pink, see? <laughs> but if we water it way down, oh, that's too pink still. Add a little bit of yellow. You get this really pale kind of rosy color. It's totally up to you, just kind of mixing yellow and pink and maybe a bit of brown. If you don't have brown, you could always use green. Um, so let's do like pink and a bit of maybe hooker's green and then some yellow, some yellow ochre and it also makes a brown. Okay, there's so many. I will link the videos below that I've done like a more, more in-depth tutorial on skin colors, but there's just so many that you could do. Um, so to make it look a little less flat, what I like to do is add a bit more of a darker shade after, like still wet on wet, around the face and up by the hairline. You could always do a bit on the cheeks too if you like. You can add a little bit of like a rosiness if you want. I think those ones are a bit more dry or let's see. The hard thing is trying not to go back in with too much water because it could push the pigment away. That's too much. <laughs> Depends. Um, or you could wait till it's dry. Is this guy dry? That guy's kind of dry. Just mix his color again. And then just do a bit more of an outline after to kind of give them a bit, usually I make the ears a bit darker around the head. You can do above the eyes, oops, that's a bit too dark. The nose, maybe even make a bridge if you'd like. This is a bit darker than I wanted, but that's okay. And then the lips like that. You could always bring it in to do the cheeks a bit more if you want, just to give it a bit more dimension. Um, let's do it with this guy too. Are you dry? Yes, you're dry. Okay, so I'm just gonna go around the ears and the hairline because there'd be a bit more shadow there. Again, the nose, the bridge of the nose, over the eyes a bit if you want, and then the lips above and below. And then if you wanna bring it in just to give them like little cheekbones or whatever, you can totally do that, you don't have to, okay? It's totally up to you if you even wanna do that step but it just kind of adds a little bit of something after. Um, there's, I don't know, there's tons of ways you can do this. Um, let's talk about a bit more with like the hair dimension. So let's do the wavy, wavy hair for a second. I'm gonna start off with like a lighter, 
tone. So start off light. Okay, so this girl's gonna have brown hair, but I'm starting off with this, oh, don't worry about the headband, with this lightish brown color. Okay, just going all over. Okay, and then we're gonna wait for that to dry. Behind the neck, so the neck would be here, right? I'm just doing it with my paintbrush. Don't forget behind the neck. So like right where the shoulders would be, you're, you have to fill in that way too, because otherwise it looks like their hair's floating. Okay, and while it's wet, you can always go in and do some wet on wet, and I would just put the darkness underneath here and you can just do some like little flicks like that or you can wait till it's dry maybe a bit at the roots we'll do a bit more detail once it's dry but you could do some wet on wet there I'll come back to that one always start off with a lighter color though than you're intending to do okay so let's do her hair That. I'm just going to go back in with a bit more darkness, kind of underneath the ears. Actually, I forgot to do her neck too. That's too dark. But still has to be darker than the top. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of go around, frame the face a bit. And just do some more like squiggly shapes with my paintbrush to give it a bit more texture. Like so. Again, these are not too detailed, so don't worry too much about it. Is this dry yet? Okay, so for this hair, I would go back in, make it darker underneath, maybe a bit darker around the top, do some like little strokes with my paintbrush, and around the front. And then for these little like waves, I'm just gonna go in to some of the waves and just create a little bit of darkness in those curves. Okay, around the top of it. Like so. All right, so there's kind of like a quick tutorial of hair and skin colors. Now I'm gonna show you a time-lapse of my holiday card of my family and how I put it all together.
Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for even more. Have a great day guys. Bye.